Okay, um, so what I'm going to start doing here is weaving. I've got my um, I got my corners uh, clipped up. I've got my one row of 20, and then I lock that in. You know, so what I did is just went underneath these two. These have all been upset, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start weaving. And what I'd like to do is use a clip for the first three rows, and I also like to use a gravity. So. I want to start on top of a natural, I think, on this one. Yep. No, I'm sorry. It needs to be on top of on top of a purple. On top of a purple. First row has to be on top of a purple. Or whatever dyed you're using. So when I come around to my corners. What I want to do is give them a little crimp so they have some memory. And this, you know, having them um, <clears throat> clipped up like that does make it a little bit more cumbersome, but gives you a better shape. So, see how I just press a little bit there? And then I'm going to do this side quick because it's hard for you to see it. And hard for me to weave it at this angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this one. And once again, you can unhook those if you want. I just weave through them. This is start and stop weaving. So every row starts and stops. You always, always, always start on top of a stake. Once again, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a crimp there. And the first three rows in a basket is always kind of Teddy wampus and you think, what? After the first three rows, your uh, basket gets some memory on the sides and it's easier to weave. I'm looking at this and saying, why am I underneath those when I should be on top of it? Usually means I've got an error somewhere right here. So, and they're usually on a corner. This should bend over it. So I'm going to come back here. So when you're weaving and, and you see an error, like on this one, the first row needs to be on top of the purple stakes. And you lose it and you think, well, if that's the case, I've made an error. So I'm looking back here on that corner. And once again, I'm going to put that little crimp in it. And as I come up on this long side then, I should be on top of the purple. Good way to check to make sure that you're on the weave. The other thing you can do as you come around here too for these first couple sets is you can take a clip and they, it works better if they're small clips so that they're not jumping up on you. And just clip it in on each row so they're not popping up. Makes it a little easier. <clears throat> when the next row comes along, you're going to remove them, but it does keep them from. Just keeps it a little bit more manageable. You know, one of those tips and tricks that makes life easier in basket weaving. So once again, I'm coming around to this corner and I am on top of my purple. Always a good thing. And I'm gonna crimp that corner just a little bit. <clears throat> As I come around, I'm on those top of those purple again. Life is good. And like I said, usually what I do is hold these down. I'm just going to put that one there for a minute. So, starting off, and you need about, actually, you need about nine clips because I always start one here too. And I'm going to give that little crimp on the corner again. I'm on top of my purples. Okay, so I'm going to come past four. One, two, three, four. And the reason that you do that, notice that this is always started on top. The reason that you do that is so that your beginnings and ends never show. Okay, so I go over the beginning so it doesn't show. I move that clip, come down here. 
I'm going to clip that back up. Now you always want to stagger your starts, which means, because this is a long side, I could come over here and start here, or I could start on either the short sides or on the other side. But you should start stagger your starts because you don't want, uh, you always get a little bit of bulk, and you don't want bulk on bulk. So there you go. I'm going to do three of these rows, and then I'm going to do the crosses. <laughs> 